So for step 29, checking the RC equipment. Well, the whole purpose of this step is to make sure that the servo is in neutral before we attach the servo savers. Otherwise, your steering is all going to be out of whack. So we're going to do that first. And then, of course, we've got to attach everything. And down here, you'll see that each servo comes with a different horn and a different screw. Well, in my case, because this is a Futaba servo, it came with a tapping screw as opposed to your regular standard screw. And then of the two sizes, mine was the thin one, which means I'm looking for the MC5 screw that came in the kit. Because you can see here, it's showing you the different options. And since mine is closest to the match of the MC5, that is the screw that we're going to use to attach the servo savers. Anyway, first things first, let's check to make sure that the servo is in neutral. Okay, so I have everything attached. I've got my transmitter turned on. We've got everything connected to the ESC, to the receiver, to the battery. And here is the on-off switch and the servo. And I'm using an S148 servo for this. Now what you should see is when I push this button to turn it on, you're going to see the servo do a bit of a shimmy. And once that's finished, you know that it's in neutral. So I'm just going to click the button on. There we go. You'll notice it went into position. Now if the servo was completely in neutral to begin with, it should have just done a, just a little bit of a shimmy. But there was obviously, um, it was offset, so it needed to spin even more. So now if I flick the switch on again, you should see it do a tiny shimmy which it always does, which basically just means we're set. So this test has been completed. Um, everything's fine. We know the servo is correct. So now we can move on to the next bit, which is actually attaching the servo saver to the neutral, up uh, to the neutral, to the servo, um, and everything will be correct because we've done the servo check. So I'll set everything up and let's put those pieces on. So I've got all the parts off of the parts tree that we need for this step. And you can see here that the positioning means that this needs to be pretty much perpendicular to the servo. So if you look at this and you see where the wire is going into this side, so that means we know that this is what we're looking at here. Sometimes the cable is on this side. So you just have to be careful as to the direction of it, but you can tell that the way this is going to fit is we need this one here and technically you want to have it face straight down as much as possible. So if you look at the placement of this, you want that piece right here to be facing as straight as you can downwards. And it really depends because you see how that's on an angle. And if I move it the other way, well, actually that's gonna be pretty close. So I think that's what I'm gonna stick with. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that because you, you, you never know that positioning is wrong. One over is looking okay. If I go the other way, it's off. I'm gonna stick with that. So I'm just gonna push that on. If I've got that correct, which I do, I'm snapping that into place. So you see how it's a little bit off? but I can do fine tuning adjustments on the transmitter once we've got this all set up. So again, that's now gonna go on top of there, which you can just snap into place. And then this piece is gonna fit on top, just like that. And then it shows this little piece, P1, is gonna sit in there like that. So all that's left is we need to be able to screw this in with the screw and I'm going to use my thumb to hold it back so that it doesn't turn so that as I'm screwing this in I don't shift anything and I can feel it wanting well I've already moved it because I could feel the the my finger give way but it's on and of course once we put this in the car hook it back up it's going to move to center. But we know that when we put this servo saver on to begin with, the first piece, we know it was in the right place. I'm just going to do one little extra turn just to make sure it's on, which it is. So that is ultimately what this is going to look like when it's finished. So that is the end of step 29. 
So we can now move over to step 30 and we're going, we're going to attach the servo stay. 